YouTube, what's up, man? I really wanted to bring this video to you guys because it's that time of year. Everybody is asking me, how can I get better, man? How can I improve, man? And these questions are, I, I have a few things you guys can do to get better at Madden. Whether you're a weekend league player, whether you're a guy that competes against his friends, wins all the time, and you want to take that next step, man. There's a few little tips, not really tips, but ideas and ways you can do this that I can help you guys with and, and just give you the, the first couple steps as far as improving your Madden game and as far as wanting to compete. You know, as far as I'm concerned, with all my friends I've played Madden with my the last 12, 13 years of my life, man, I feel like if all any of those guys that at one point were good at the game, if they put their time in and energy, they can go ahead and make $5,000, 5 to $10,000 from EA because I feel like they're giving away money if you really lock in and, and focus and become a better man player. But not only that, are they giving away money at these events, but if you just want to become better to win weekend league and not have to buy packs anymore, that's another great avenue that EA has helped make good man players make it valuable to be very good at Madden. And uh, obviously the first thing, and, and I'll remember back my first... Madden 08 was when I really learned to be good at the game and understand it and take it to the next level. And the first thing I did there was I bought an ebook. I, I want to say, it was, it, I don't even remember where it was from, but I bought an ebook in 08. And uh, I, it wasn't that I needed an ebook, it was just that I wanted to understand what the top players were doing. I wanted to understand why it worked and why they continue to do it. Why did they run the same play? Because I feel like people have two different attitudes, man. When you run into what's good, whether it is in life, when you run into what's better than you, what's beating you, and, and what's better competition than you, you either make excuses or you figure out how to do that and compete with those people. You know, I think Madden goes the same way. There's half half of the world, I want to say 90% of the world, uh, when they lose in Madden, they blame the game, blame this cheesy, the game, uh, you run cheesy plays, YouTube plays, all that, and that's the type of attitude some people have. But if you want to be a champion and you want to be great at Madden, Maybe you don't, but if you do, your my attitude was when I first got hit with that type of stuff. What wasn't? Oh, he's cheating me. It was how do I cheat that person? You know how do I? I need to learn how to do that. And buying an ebook in Madden 08 was one of the best things I did for myself. And if you want to do that, man, the links below are to Madden Turf. I mean, there's no better people to hear from than me, Clef, Skimbo, CC, all these people with great pedigrees at being great at Madden. We'll go ahead and give you tips. If you get the premium membership, you'll get everything all year. So that was the first thing that really took me to the next step. Um, the second thing I want you guys to do, if you want to get good at Madden, man, you are who you play against. So when EA announces these leaderboards, and if you don't follow EA, follow Madden League Ops on Twitter. They'll announce what leaderboards we have to play. Follow my streams. I mean, my YouTubes, you will understand what mode we have to play, and those are the qualifying modes. Now, even if you're not good enough to qualify, playing against these people consistently will get you better. I was always a mutt head-to-head -head or just a get online head-to-head -head guy. Never really gambled, never played for money. But when EA made the MCS, it made me have to play leaderboards against other good people. It took my game from good to, to elite. You know, you are who you play against. So make sure you pay attention to what tournament is underway and what leaderboards the best players are grinding. Because ultimately, it's free looks at the best players in the world, man. Most of these guys would never play you if it was it was for free. But because of leaderboards, you get a chance to play Problem. You get a chance to play Kiv. You get a chance to play Skimbo and Drini. You get a chance to play all these guys for free. So make sure you're playing those leaderboards. Because even if you lose, you'll learn and you'll get better. So grinding the leaderboards is probably the number one thing placed play wise to get you better at man and, and the, the third thing be in the twitch chats man if you want to get known in the community you don't even have to be good at madden to be a part of this community that's a misconception man the twitch chats will always be live especially in a week when madden drops will be so packed man if you're active in there you'll become a part of our community we probably have a consistent 100 to 150 people that we all know because of the twitch chats you know, it's really a great chance to chill, watch good people play Madden and talk about it, gamble on it, whatever it may be. But if you watch good Madden, you'll learn. If you're in the Twitch chat talking about Madden, you will learn. Uh, it's all about how much knowledge is out there for you. And they have Twitch chats all over the place. Tons of people stream Madden. Myself, Clef, Problem, obviously. I'm sure Drenny is going to stream a lot. Those are four of the best players in the world you can watch all the time and learn from. Uh, the, the last thing I want to talk about as far as be, being a competitive player, wanting to be a competitive player, 
one thing people ask me all the time, why didn't I travel? And when I was 20 years old, a Madden 08 and Madden 09, and why didn't I travel? And part of it was for me was I didn't think I put enough time in the game. I, I didn't think I was that good enough, you know. And and one thing I learned in the last four years is that all these players that you guys look at that you guys think are so good, uh, and, and you can compete with anybody if you put your time and energy into it. I, I believe that if you're good at Madden, if you know you're pretty good, you know you just need to get a little bit better, you can do it, man. Believe in yourself because, shoot, I could have won a belt 10 years ago if I had a better attitude and put a little bit more effort into Madden because I was always good at it but didn't grind it at that elite level because, honestly, I didn't think I was going to be better than the guys that, that did. You know, I didn't think I would be on that level. And to me, it was like to spend $300 to travel, you know, wasn't worth it to me because I didn't think I could win and, uh, that was a bad attitude. So if you're young, you're 18, 17, whatever it may be, and you want to get good at man, you think you can compete, just I know you can, man. If you guys think you can do it a little bit, you definitely can. So those three things, man, if you get an ebook, whether it be for me, obviously I want you to get it from me. I'm, it's one of my biggest passions going forward the next couple years of my life is get you guys better at Madden and help you guys enjoy it the way I do. Also, man, uh, being in the Twitch chats, Twitch chats are probably the most active part of Madden especially competitive men I mean, will learn your name and you'll become a part of the community and then grind the right leaderboards man whatever leaderboards the best players in the world are playing that's what you should play and regardless if you invest in your mutt team and all of a sudden they want you to play draft champions if you want to get better at Madden learn to play the mode that the money's on because that's what we're doing you know and if you want to get better you want to play those best players and then believe in yourself no matter what man if, if you think you can compete you definitely can. So those are just some basics as far as I want to get into competitive man. I want to be better, man. Those are some of the basic things I would tell you guys that's important and could really improve your game. Make sure you do, man. Hit that like button, subscribe. It's going to be a huge year for Madden 20. So if you don't have those notifications on, you better do that.